Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to H. Greg Nissan for giving me time with the 2022 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum. This one is front wheel drive. Keep in mind, if you guys want all wheel drive, it will be an additional option. Let's talk about pricing here for the Nissan Pathfinder Platinum. Starting price is $47,140 with the options and accessories, including the two-tone paint. This one stickers for $49,960. If you guys are on the market for a Nissan, be sure to check out H. Greg Nissan and ask for Gabby. She will get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle. But let's talk about the front styling for the Nissan Pathfinder Platinum. Let's talk about the exterior styling here for the 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. This one is painted in this beautiful shade of green. Looks really good with the gloss black and chrome trim throughout this vehicle. Looking at these headlights here, this is the LED daytime run light on the upper portion here. Also with these multi-reflector LED headlights with an automatic low and high beam. The turn signal is going to be an incandescent bulb. Uh, on all trim levels, it's going to come with an incandescent bulb, even on the platinum model here. As you guys can see, very large V-Motion grille. It does have this gloss black finish to the actual grille here. There's the new Nissan emblem, also with this front-facing camera. Since my model is a platinum model, it does have some more nicer features compared to uh, other uh, Pathfinders in the lineup here. As you guys can see, also, there's these LED fault lights here at the lower part of the fascia with front parking sensors. And there's this aluminum light skip plate here, but it's just, it's just gray paint. It's not really a skip plate, but it does look really good here with this green exterior paint. But looking at the side profile here, this has an overall length of 197 inches with a wheelbase of 114.2. So it does have some really good proportions here in this three row SUV segment. Looking at these tires and wheels here, these are a 25550 Bridgestone tire. They're wrapped in this 20 inch run design. This also has this gray pocket finish with the chrome uh, multi spokes. It looks really good with the green exterior paint. And of course, it wouldn't be an SUV without the side cladding here. You get some chrome trim here at the lower part of the door panel. It does say Pathfinder here, which is a nice detail there. Looking at the mirror cap, it does have this gloss back finish with this LED side marker. And my model also has the nice two-tone paint, as you guys can see. It does give it that floating roof design towards the rear of the vehicle. That's a $395 charge. And up top, Nissan does give you this large panoramic sunroof here with these crossbars and roof rails here. But making our way to the rear of the Pathfinder, looking at the tail lights here, they're going to be an incandescent design, um, an LED combination, my apologies. So you do get this incandescent turn signal, reverse light. Also, the brake light is going to be an LED, so that's why I mentioned it's going to be an LED uh, combination. There's the uh, Nissan emblem here, which is the new logo, of course, with the Pathfinder name, which is spelled out very boldly here. That's the platinum badge there. This also has rear parking sensors. I like the nice bumper here. It does look very aggressive. The backup camera is integrated into the rear bumper, and my model can also tow up to 6,000 pounds properly equipped. There's the trailer uh, connector here, which is a 7-pin connector. Open up the cargo back here. Of course, this is the Platinum model, so it does come with the power opening function. With all of the seats folded up, Nissan says this gets 16.6 .6 cubic feet of space. There's a 12 volt back here. You have to let down the seats manually. Just grab the scrap here to put down the headrest. And once you do that, the seat will fold flat. And once you fold down all the seats, Nissan says this has 80.6 cubic feet of space. So it is very practical in putting your family things inside this vehicle and underneath here very deep storage uh, wells here you also get a first aid kit from nissan which is really nice some other competitors doesn't even offer that type of uh, feature but but let's hop into the interior of the pathfinder sitting in the interior of the nissan pathfinder platinum this one does have this nice beautiful two-tone color combination i do like the nice brown it looks really good with the green exterior paint which i think this is how i will this is how i will configure my vehicle to look but as you guys can see i like the nice bronze like the trim here on the actual door panel the switch gear is automatic up and down there's your lock controls this also has two person memory seats shutting the door and starting up the vehicles this is a push button start of course you guys can hear that 3.5 liter v6 will come to life and my model does have this fully digital display which shows very bright which i do like a lot this is a nine inch display here it does support apple carplay and android auto that's heated that's three level heated and cool seats the cool seats blow very good cold air as you guys can see the apple carplay starts up very quickly there's a volume and tune knob looking at the materials here on the actual door panel very nice high quality leather like i mentioned two breast memory seats with this aluminum uh, finish to the actual door handle here there's your uh, light controls here this also has paddle shifters here with the house is the nine speed automatic transmission the rim does feel very thick nice high quality leather there's your active lane trace assist there are trunk release button there a lot of storage compartment down here there's a hood latch 
and also this is a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel here it does offer a good amount of range and adjustability you can customize this digital display here very quickly let me show you guys this is the um, compass as you guys see it does show you the navigation switch over to the left or right it does show your tire pressure there's your fuel economy uh, there and it does show you uh, the compass also with the apple carplay whatever is playing it does show you there's a sync and track volume there's some gloss black trim the new nissan logo here this also has your driver's assistance tech here with adaptive cruise control and my model also has this very bright heads up display which shows very uh, clear the materials on the dash gonna be a nice material this also has the bose sound system which sounds pretty good looking over here it does have dual climate control heat steering wheel function here you don't need that in south florida it's too hot for that that's also a wireless phone charger down here Put in the vehicle into reverse. I like this electronic shifter here. It does house the nine. It does house the nine-speed auto. There's trajectory with distance markers. You can also tow six thousand pounds properly equipped. Very nice camera quality here. This is a top-down 360 view, which shows you really good uh, camera quality. Like I mentioned, there's some hard shortcut buttons down here, which is really nice. That Nissan does give you physical buttons. Kicking it down here to neutral very gently here. You can also go into drive and you kick it down again. There's a manual mode. You can click P for park. I like the shifter. It doesn't take up a lot of uh, real estate here in the center console. This is the current key fob here for the Pathfinder. There's a lock, unlock, remote start, trunk release, and a panic button. And there's a new Nissan emblem on top of the key fob. This is a nice area to put the key fob. There's some gloss black trim here in the center console. There's an automatic start stop function, electronic parking brake. There's a brake hold. Your drive, load, your drive mode selector shows you tow, sport, and standard and eco. It only displays what mode is in when it's actually to the left side here next to the, R, the uh, RPM tack. There's a little bit of storage here. Two cup holders, like I mentioned. There's a Pathfinder logo there. Nice stitching. This area is going to be nice and padded. There's also some storage underneath here. So if you guys wanted to put like a little diaper bag, just in case you're a first time mom, this is a good area to you know put the diaper bag underneath the center console area. Open up this, it does reveal a good amount of storage in there. The seats in here, they're supportive, they're comfortable. I like the way that they look, nice, comfortable seats. One of the best seats in the segment it does have this nice two-tone finish to the seats. And above me, there's this large panoramic sunroof here that's also in condensed line throughout the cabin. You can close the shade via this button here. You can also open up the sunroof uh, via this control there. There's two-tier storage here, which I think is a nice feature, just like on the Toyota Highlander, which is this vehicle's main competitor. Open up the glove compartment, it does offer a large uh, storage in there. There's two type uh, USB ports in here, also with the 12 volt. But overall, the interior of the Nissan Pathfinder does not disappoint for this generation. And I do, like I mentioned, I do like the nice two-tone color combination. Getting into the second row here of the Nissan Pathfinder here, as you guys can see, like I mentioned from the front scene here, this one does have this nice two-tone color combination to the interior. It also looks really good with the green exterior paint. But getting inside, the second row here, as you guys see, my model does have these nice captain's chairs. They do feel very comfortable and supportive. Reach over here to shut the door. The door sounds very solid. There's also these manual sunshades here. I think no other competitor in the segment um, offers manual sunshades. There's also the very nice high quality leather and stitching here. The air vents are up top. It's gonna have the incandescent lighting. And above me, there's this large panoramic sunroof here. It does let light into this cabin, especially with this nice brown interior. You also have your own set of climate controls here. There's a type C port, type A port. And there's a household outlet here. The floor back here is completely flat. Nissan says this has 35 inches of rear legroom space, which is really class competitive. There's also two map pockets uh, for storage. So you also have this center console here with two cup holders. As you guys can see my glasses, I can put it in this little stor storage area here. And you can also remove this center uh, console here if you guys would like. It's very simple, it's very lightweight. You can put this in the actual cargo area or you can leave it at home in your garage or you guys can just remove it in general. But putting this back here very quick. Okay, not very quick, but I'm putting it back. <laughs> but, oh, I have it upside down, that's why. But once you guys put it back in place there, you guys can um, remove this and you can make an aisle way to get into the third row. The armrest here does feel very comfortable and you can slide the seat forward and back to give the third row passenger some more space. And there's this nice nifty recline function here. So if, if I was on a long road trip, I can, you know, cross my legs. I can look at the sunroof here or I could be on my phone and whatnot. But lifting the seat up here to get into the third row, Nissan makes it very simple. You can use the aisle way to get into the third row by removing the center console or you can press this button right here and the seat will catapult up. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cross over here to get into the third row. As you guys can see, the floor back here is very low. It kind of reminds me of the Ford Explorer in the third row, but it does 
feel a little bit more higher compared to the Ford. There's also a cup holders back here with USB charging ports. There's, there is this uh, glass here that you can see out of just in case you guys get claustrophobic. There's rear air vents here and you can also recline the steering wheel, but you have to do it from the cargo area via the scraps. But overall, the back seat of the uh, Nissan Pathfinder here does feel very spacious. Uh, keep in mind, I'm, I'm only five foot eight. This also has better legroom space than the Terrett Highlander, which has around 26 inches of rear legroom. Nissan says this has 28, so it does have a little bit more inches over the Highlander, which that one does have a more cramped back seat. But keep in mind, if you guys are over six feet tall, I recommend not sitting into the actual third row. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the Nissan Pathfinder. Open up the hood here. This one does have a pop rod instead of actual hood struts here. But let's talk about the powertrain specs. This is a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6. This powertrain makes 284 horsepower and 259 pound feet of torque. It is hooked up to a new nine speed automatic transmission. There is no more CVT for this current generation. If you guys want that CVT transmission, you have to go for the previous generation. Unfortunately, going forward, Nissan will just offer this nine speed automatic automatic as the standard transmission and as this one sits here it weighs around 4,400 pounds keep in mind all pathfinders come with front wheel drive if you guys want all wheel drive it will be additional options and my model here since it's the front wheel drive platinum version here Nissan says this can tow up to 6,000 pounds properly equipped but let's talk about the fuel economy here really quick making our way over to the fuel door here open up the fuel door Nissan says this gets 21 in the city 26 on the highway and 23 combined keep in mind if you guys do want a hybrid option you have to look at the other competitors in this segment so driving the 2022 nissan pathfinder platinum here this one comes standard with front wheel drive yes you guys can get all wheel drive as an additional option and nissan says this can tow up to 6,000 pounds properly equipped so you can tow a couple of jet skis to you know the lake or to the beach and whatnot if you guys would like you definitely can put your family's uh, things in here good leg space in the second and third row the visibility out of this vehicle is really good. You have this low dash, very thick A pillar here, but you can definitely see around it. This one also has the Bose uh, audio sound system. I like the nice nine inch display here. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless, or you can use the USB uh, port if you guys want to use a wireless function. The ride quality in here is really good. It drives very smooth. This also has that 3.5 liter V6, which, which is a naturally aspirated powertrain. It makes 284 horsepower and 259 pound feet of torque. And now, this has the nine speed automatic transmission. It doesn't have that CVT anymore. So if you guys like CVTs, you have to get the previous model in order to get that CVT transmission. But the nine speed, it's a good transmission and it does downshift really good. Just go around these twisty roads here, but most people are not gonna drive it, you know, like this on back roads, but this is just for demonstration purposes. And it does handle really good for this to be a three row SUV. I like the nice smooth uh, ride quality. It drives really good, drives like one of the best vehicles in this three row segment here, in my opinion. I also love this nice brown interior. It looks really good with the nice green exterior. So it's nice that Nissan is offering different color combinations because some other competitors really don't offer a lot of different colors in the segment. This also has three level heated and cool seats. The cool seats blow really good cold air. And this vehicle just drives really smooth. I like the nice smooth uh, ride quality that it has. Like I mentioned, great visibility. So this one is a platinum trim. It does have this fully digital display. You have to go for the platinum trim if you want the fully digital display. Unfortunately, Nissan just limits that to the platinum trim. Maybe for the next generation, they might offer it on probably all trim levels. I think that'd be a nice selling point. But this vehicle just drives really good. Foot not to the floor, but just a little bit of acceleration. And you can hear that V6, it sounds really good. Like I mentioned, it's a naturally aspirated powertrain. It moves very good, especially with the weight of this vehicle. The steering feel in here is very playful. Like I mentioned, you can put your family in here. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, good third, uh, good leg room in the second and third row. Great visibility. I love this large panoramic sunroof up top, but it does let a lot of light into this cabin, especially with this beautiful brown interior. The seats in here, very comfortable, comfortable seats. One of the best seats that I sat in in the three-row segment here. I think Nissan, Nissan does one of the best seats in the, in, in the car uh, market, in my opinion. I just love the zero gravity uh, seats that they do offer. And this vehicle just drives really good. Let's talk about fuel economy here really quickly. I mean, it's right at 21 in the city, 26 on the highway, and 23 combined. As of this filming, Nissan does not offer a hybrid powertrain or a plug-in variant. Some other competitors do offer that if you guys are looking for. I like the nice bright heads of display. It does show you your speed. You can customize it uh, to your liking here. But let's get right to the acceleration. Let's do a slight acceleration here. Let's go over some rough surfaces here. You can feel it just a little bit 
uh, coming back into the cabin, but that's at a low speed. So of course, at a low speed, you're gonna feel everything. And I like that Nissan does give you this power tilt and telescoping function here. There is a drive mode selector here, which I'm gonna put into sport mode here. Remember, this is front wheel drive, it's cutting power. And you just can't deny that that V6 sounds so damn good. It's probably one of the best sounding V6s V6s in this um, segment here. Toyota has dropped their V6 and now they're offering a turbocharged option. So I should be driving the 2023 Highlander very soon. I'm not sure when um, I'm gonna be driving. Hopefully Toyota sends, over, sends, me, sends me one to test for a week or so, or whenever a dealership gets one in stock, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, call me and, you know, let me know that one's there. But I can't wait to drive the turbo option, but I do like the way this V6 sounds. So V6 versus uh, a four cylinder turbo, you know, the turbo, the four cylinder is not going to sound the best, but it downshifts really good. And then I just like that nice grunt from um, this 3.5 liter V6. Like I mentioned again, it's a naturally aspirated powertrain. So it does sound really good. But if you guys are looking for a different three row, uh, vehicle in this segment you don't want the Toyota you don't want the Ford and you just want to be different in a sense I think the Nissan Pathfinder Platinum is one of the picks that I would definitely go for after spending time with the 2022 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum hope you guys have enjoyed this review here be sure to follow me on Instagram at drive on reviews hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications and I'll see you all in the next video